The ancient Greeks believed that King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by luxury leisure groups international. The beach. One sniff of that fresh ocean breeze, and even a shark is transported to that bikini mandatory mindset. supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors.
Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Dominant species, Port Clovis locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. Overdevelopment of the shoreline leads to a wide variety of negative environmental impacts. But you should see the Italian design walk in closets inside these condos. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and counting. For human hunters and animal predators alike, the bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity.
The Predator's torpedo-like form allows her to navigate the area efficiently. Aren't random. They require large amounts of mutations and abilities. capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. The shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve.
if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea. To look at the coast is to recognize that the boundary between sea and land is transitory, and that all life on Earth is just a cosmic accident. Operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses.
the hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between the man and the nature. Treats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Another shark hunt draws to a close. of balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process. What harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Sure, it would be more practical simply to close the beaches. Why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns?
distinctive smell, that of sea salts, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing activity of volatile organic is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. Five hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow-through floor plans. a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take old people there. Prosperity Sands, sure. Ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned super yachts. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. Well, we did the best we could do. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
the shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a counterfeit shark hunt. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The Gulf Stream is just one of many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. We got a shark situation out there.
takes three hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality. between life and death. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage.
instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious plans.
Intelligence and subtlety win out over unbridled brutality. A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and circarial dermatitis. Bracelet alarms come to the air. The shark hunters leave their homes to track our fish.
fight another team. called the Great White, this iconic fish is increasingly referred to simply as the White Shark. Because really, what's so great about being white? The slicing jaws of the shark chop the grouper into morsel-sized pieces. provides a new fresco from the Sturm und Drang Partei. Make no mistake, those shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job, they know actually that's pretty irresponsible. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost from a native marine. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty.
It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. across entire oceans. Why this one would willingly stay in Port Clovis is beyond me. And now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. Shark attacks are viewed as a freakish aberration caused by the fish mistaking a human for a seal. As humans and seals are virtually indistinguishable, it's an honest mistake. A nice looking wealthy women. Yeah, there's a court order says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach. But you can see a lot of the beach set of binoculars. vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. The Gulf Stream brings warm waters northeast across the Atlantic towards English seaside towns filled with cranky pensioners, donkey rides, and heroin. Thank <laughs> you. 
The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. <laughs>